Hi, happy morning, everyone. Welcome to Meteor YouTube channel. I hope you're all fine and all the exam fevers are over, but still we have to prepare. Overall, not attended the exams or overall preparing the exams. Please subscribe our channel so that whatever the questions or important topics we are uploading, it will be useful for your preparation. Okay. And uh, all the best. We're all waiting for the uh, exam results. Uh, we hope that we all will get the jobs and hope so. Okay. Okay. We'll start with the today's session with a small quote. It always seems impossible until it is done. ஒரு விஷயத்த நீங்க செய்யாதது செய்யாம அதை வந்து முடியுமா முடியாதான்னு நீங்க Bronchiectasis means the term bronchiectasis means what? Inflammation of the bronchus, widening of the bronchus, collapse of the bronchus, mucus deposition in the bronchus. What is the correct option? The option B, widening of the bronchus. The bronchiectasis is the exact uh, terminology telling that the widening of bronchus. So normally health, healthy airway will have this particular size. During this bronchial taxis, what will happen? The dilation of the airway will take place and also mucus will be present inside the, the dilated bronchus. Okay, that is option B. So what is option A? Inflammation of the bronchus. So anything inflammation, we will add itis, right? So it is bronchitis. Option A, inflammation of the bronchus is bronchitis. Collapse of the bronchus. Collapse of the alveoli, we know that. What is that? Atelectasis. What is collapse of the bronchus? It is called tracheobronchomalacia. Collapse of the bronchus is called what? Tracheobronchomalacia. Clear? Okay, next is mucus deposition of in the bronchus. It is seen in various conditions. Here also in bronchiectasis, we can see the uh, mucus deposition. And uh, uh, cystic fibrosis, we can see the mucus deposition. COPD. So all this condition, any kind of an infection, right? We can see the mucus deposition in, in the bronchus. So according to this question, option B is a right answer. Next question. Which immunoglobulin is higher in a patient of status asthmatic? So everybody knows that asthmatic is an allergic condition. So allergic is related to what? Option D, IgE. IgE. E is for hypersensitivity, allergic response to a particular stimulant, right? So, asthma, uh, immunoglobulins is related to allergy. The asthma, atopic dermatitis, allergic rhinitis, and any kind of a food also can lead to the allergic reactions. So, what are, some examples are allergic rhinitis, atomic dermatitis, and asthma. It is all are based on IgE. So, what about other Immunoglobulins, IgG, IgM. Immunoglobulins are nothing but they are antibodies. We have IgG, IgM, IgA, IgD, Ig. All the immunoglobulins present inside our body. Right? So what is the role of this immunoglobulin? Whenever there is an infection or any uh, immune response inside the body or any cytotoxic, any canceric agents are coming, these immunoglobulins, these are antibodies, they try to protect our body, right? So that is the role of an anti-immunoglobulins. Okay. IgG, IgG is most abundantly present in our body. This is the biggest uh, immunoglobulin. Okay. It's the biggest one. It can ability to cross the placenta. Okay. Yes. And IgM, it is made by the baby. The first antibody created by the fetus. Right? Okay. Next is IgA. Most of our body fluids like saliva, tears, sweat, it contain IgA. Next is IgD. It do not cross the placenta, but it has some direct differentiation. That means uh, it do not activate any immune system. But 
activation or triggering the B cells to divide and differentiate into plasma cells. That is the main role of this IgD. Next, finally, as I said, IgE is immediate response to the any kind of a allergen. Okay, allergen. So that is hypersensitivity reaction is based on IgE. So according to this question, the patient with the status asthmatic will have more immunoglobulin of IgE. Next question. The importance of sinuses is what? We all know that sinuses. We have sinuses here, right? So what is the function of this sinuses? Provide immunity to the body. Provide resonance during the speech. Filter the air entering in upper respiratory tract. Protection of the speech. What is that? Correct answer. Provide resonance during the speech. So what are the sinuses we have? So these sinuses are otherwise called the paranasal sinuses, frontal sinus, spinoid sinus, ethmoid sinus, maxillary sinus. We have these paranasal sinus. So when you come when you come to the function, its main function is for lightening apparent weight of the head, humidifying or heating the inhaled air. Whatever the air we are inspiring in during the inspiration we are taking inside. So those air will be filtered or humidified by the these sinuses and increase the resonance of the speech. What is meant by resonance? Resonance is nothing but vibration. So whenever we are speaking, the, the word vibration is because of this sinus. Right? Right. So these are the main functions of the sinuses. So according to this question, option B is the right one. Next, the main function of the surfactant in the lung is what? The main function of the surfactant. Options, increase the surface tension, reduce the surface tension, maintain the surface tension, all of above depends upon situation. The answer is option B, reduces the surface tension. What is this surfactant? Surfactant is nothing but it's a lining, okay, which present inside the alveoli. Alveoli is the end part of our lungs, right? End part of the lungs. The bronchial tree will there. You can see it here. The bronchial tree end part, it's called alveoli. This alveoli are lined by this surfactant by birth itself. So these surfactants are made up of what? Made up of 79% phospholipids, 13% neutral lipids and 8% of protein. So these combined together, it forms the surfactant. What is the function of the surfactant? The surfactant's main function is to reduce the surface tension. Because how many times we are taking the breathing and uh, we are inhaling and exhaling the carbon dioxide, right? So during the uh, gas exchange, this alveoli, there is a chance for collapse. That means it gets shrink. If it is get shrink, the air exchange will not take place between the blood vessels and the alveoli, right? So to prevent that collapse, this surfactant make the alveoli in a particular position. That means in the particular shape. So that is the main function of the surfactant. If the surfactants are deficient, acute respiratory disease syndrome, uh, it can happen to the child. The collapse can happen to the alveoli. That is, atelectasis can happen, right? Okay. So that is the main function of the surfactant, reduces the surface tension of the lungs. So last question, the false ribs are, what are the number? 567, 678, 789, 8910. So the correct answer is option D, 8910. So how many ribs we have? 24 ribs, 12 pairs, right and left, right? 12 pairs of ribs we have. In the 24 ribs, from 1 to 7, those are called true ribs, vertebrosternal ribs, vertebrosternal ribs. Next, we have false ribs. From 8 to 12, those are called false ribs. In the 11 and 12, particularly called is floating ribs. So, three types of ribs we have. True, false, floating. Okay. I'll tell you why it is called true rib, true ribs, why it is called false ribs. True ribs are directly connected to the sternum with a vertebrosternal cartilage. Okay, vertebrosternal cartilage. 
directly connected to the sternum. You can see it here. Okay. Then false ribs, it is connected to the ribs through the vitipro-contral cartilages through the other ribs. That is why it is called false ribs. Two ribs are directly connected to the sternum, but false ribs are through the other sternum and other cartilages that connected to the sternum. But directly it is touching, it is not touching the sternum. That is why it is called false ribs. Then we have 11 and 12, which is floating ribs, which is not connected to the sternum. That is why it is called floating ribs. Right? But that's all about today's session. I hope the class was helpful. If you like the class, please press like button. If you have any doubts and if you want to command anything, please command it in the command box. Thank you all. We'll see you in the next session.